Howdy ho! How are you today? I'm doing just good. It's time to open a beer. Cheers, big ears! So recently, I picked up a new mortar and pestle. This one is a granite one. It's unfinished. I have a, my other mortar and pestle is a marble one, but it's about half the size. It, it's great, but you know, you got to do things in batches if you want to do a large quantity of stuff. And this one was really, really not expensive. So I said, hey, I'll get one. So, I'm gonna season it. And we're gonna do it basically as per the manufacturer's instructions. Um, the first thing is you gotta wash the hell out of it. Uh, because there's all kinds of powder and, and little chunks of rock in there. Um, and use a good stiff brush. And when you say wash it well, I mean like, under warm running water, not with, with no soap, hey, at least 10 minutes. Not just, hey, one minute and you're good to go, no. And I did it twice. So, what the manufacturer's instructions say, before doing this, have some more beer. Cheers, big ears. So what we gotta do, is we gotta take some uncooked rice, and this is like a third of a cup. Dump it in there, mash the living fuck out of it, get rid of it. Then, put a few uh, peeled garlic cloves in there, a teaspoon of peppercorns, a teaspoon of coarse salt, and a teaspoon of cumin. Well, I don't have any whole cumin. It's already ground, so it throws them in anyway, but I'm gonna use coriander seeds and uh, mash it up and wash it out and it should be seasoned. Now, depending upon what you are gonna be using it for, it will stain uh, because it is unfinished. Like, I, I know I'll be using uh, fermented red bean curd in here for a certain recipe and it'll be stained and there's no way around it. You know what they say in Quebec, eh? Shit happens, huh? All right. And this new one, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but it has this little fancy fucking cover. So your shit don't go flying everywhere. It's part of the fun. Try and keep the stuff from flying out. So, that's what we're gonna do. Rice. And this is gonna take a while, so I'm not gonna sit here and watch me do it all, but you get the idea, right? You know? Stay in there, bitchy! So I'm gonna do this, and then, you know, mix her around like that, you know. Get the elbow shot in there for elbow boy. Here you go, buddy. I didn't forget about you. So I'll be back after a while. Get yourself some beer, or some weed, and have yourself a party. You're gonna mash this right into a powder. Or they're a reasonable facsimile. All right, cheers, big ears. Or TFO mofos. Oh, we're still going. Still going. If you want to see it with the with the uh, lid on it, I can show you that too. There you go. This is silicone, I guess. Now, uh, for all the perverts out there, looks kind of rude, eh?
Okay. We'll be back. Cheers, biggers. All right. I guess it's been about five minutes. Cheers, big ears. Somewhere around there. I think it's uh, down to a good enough consistency. You can go finer if you want. So now we discard this. And, uh, okay, I'll show you that later. All right, our garlic. And we need a teaspoon each of coarse salt. attacking my foot. Step down something. Pepper. Don't fit. Good enough. Like I said, I don't have any whole cumin, so we're gonna use these coriander seeds. What I got. Should we throw some of this cumin in there? This is pretty powerful shit. Why not? Just put a little bit in. Put it in half. Why not? Unnecessary. Good enough. I love this smell of cumin. We'll just make it smell nice. And we'll mash that in now. Diaphragm on there. Get in there, bitch nuts. So, we'll do this for a few minutes. We'll get it all mashed in. And then we discard this and wash it out. So, I'll see you when I'm done that. Our TFO folks. Alright people, it's only been a couple of minutes, it's done. Cheers big ears. Got a nice paste here. Looks like fucking hell. Oh, you can see that. Looks like a looks like a really bad poo. That's what it looked like. But it's all part of the fucking process. So, yeah, there you go. So we get rid of that, and then I'm gonna wash it out and let it air dry, and then we'll be back. You might ask yourself, why go to all that trouble? Well, some things, it's good to do it this way. And, well, here's my older one, my marble mortar and pestle, see? Big difference big difference but I still do I use this one or you could say hey why don't you get yourself an electric spice grinder and, and just do it that way like why, why bother wasting your time well I have one of them I use it every now and then or why don't you get yourself a butt grinder well I got one of them If you want to grind some butts, make a mess, 
So that's all part of the fucking process. Like I said, well, this may be in an unboxing video sometime soon, you never know. The outside is really unfinished. But, uh, my bud grinder has scoobies on it. It's all part of the process. You know what I mean there? Fucky bean? It also depends upon what you're fucking grinding, eh? Mmm. Alright, bitches. Let me wash it. The diaphragm is actually pretty good. You know, it's to keep everything trapped. It does what a diaphragm should do. Woo! Okay, I'll be back. There you have it, people. Cleaned out. Let it dry for, oh, 20 minutes. Air dry. She's good and dry, and you can see it is a bit now discolored. It'll, it'll get darker and darker with more uses. Same within the bottom. Well, hard to see, but I don't know. You'll figure it out. Here you go. And there's nothing, no little bits of rock or dust or anything. No. You're good, you're good to go now. Good to go and have another beer. Cheers, big ears. Ah, gotta shake always here. Woo! Until next time, keep on rocking in the free world. Keep your stick on the ice. Arrivederci Roma, take it easy. Piano, piano. Woo!